Marissa Nadler, live in session, if I could breathe underwater. So, Marissa, you originally trained in visual arts. So, at yeah. what point did you decide that you preferred music as a career? Well, I was in art school at the time, and um, I think I just used it initially as a reason to uh, de-stress. Well, I was writing songs since I was about 13, but it was a hobby until I realized I enjoyed it more than at least a little bit more than painting. However, I still paint and teach art and all sorts of things like that. Yeah, and your mum, your mum's an artist as well, isn't she? She sure is, yeah. She's an abstract expressionist painter. So she might even be listening, so she just lit up, I'm sure. Hello, Marissa's mum. Um, so did, did she frown on you taking, taking the route of music? Did she really oh. want to see you kind of following her footsteps, do you think? Definitely she? not. She was super supportive. I'm Great. very lucky. They were both... My brother's a novelist, and they were really more supportive than most of having kids in the arts, because I think they had no choice. Right, OK. Matter, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a great environment to grow up in. Well done, Marissa's mum. Um, so you dip your toes into the music scene in Boston on open mic nights. Is that right? Yeah, Boston, <laughs> there goes the accent, Boston and Providence, Rhode Island, um, where I went to school in Providence. And so a lot of the early open mics, this was like over 20 years ago, um, I would play like, you know, at bars and stuff just to get up, you know, like how, how a lot of people start off. Yeah, but, you know, it sounds... I mean, joining a band, um, uh, as, you know, I'm sure people in the room, certainly Simon, uh, you join a band and you can all hide behind each other and kind of just make a racket and get on with it and hope for the best and get better. But there's nothing more kind of, um, yeah, blatant and open than being on an open mic night when nobody knows you. It must be terrifying. It certainly was. Um you know, that stage fright thing, I, I hope, is it became endearing at a point and it kind of became part of, like, the process of some things never go away, but it, um, it was hard. And, but I did notice that the more you bear yourself, the more people react to it. And so it ended up being worth the trauma. <laughs> right. I mean, it does help that you're great. I'm not being funny, but if you, if you, if you get on stage and you're rubbish, you'll know about it pre pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, more power to you. So you consider yourself, I read, a real New Englander. So why did you leave Boston for Nashville? What was the allure? Oh, I just wanted to change, you know. <laughs> da, da, da. Um, yeah, you know, uh, Boston, the Northeast, it's, um, it's just kind of a difficult place in some ways for artists and the United States just um, for uh, reasons of like, supporting themselves. And uh, I also just wanted to try something new. Uh, you know, I will always consider myself a New Englander. It's just part of, like, my upbringing and this, my love of this the changing seasons and how it affects my writing, for instance. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, have you found a like-minded community in Nashville? No, not yet. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of a loner, so, yeah, I'm working on it. Well, i tell you what, I was going to ask you, my next question was, do you own a nudie suit? Not yet, but I'd like to. Yeah, I think um, if, if you get a nudie listening. suit, you'll probably get loads of mates overnight, you know, that's what will happen. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> okay, it's worth a try. So, I, 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 and I'll let you get on with the next tune before too long. I won't keep you too long. But uh, your latest LP, The Path of Clouds, it's a wonderful thing, influenced in no small part, apparently, by the, the Unsolved Mysteries TV show. It sure was. Um, I'm a big true crime buff, and, you know, we all had a lot of time on our hands, and I was feeling guilty about not writing songs or not having a lot of real-life inspiration. And so I started taking notes on um, the actual episodes by books of them, yeah, just for fun. And s s only about four songs are directly based on uh, Unsolved Mysteries stories from this record, and the rest, to be fair, are quite personal. But the themes of reinvention... Um, faking your own death, all sorts of stuff are really um, blended with the fiction and non-fiction parts of this record. Right. I mean, you know, just by definition, unsolved mysteries, they don't really generally have a happy ending, do they? Well, life usually doesn't. You know? <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> I also sorry. read that you hate the I'm words... I'm just joking. <laughs> I also That's read you, ha you hate the words haunting and ethereal. 
Well, I might have said that at one point, and at, at this point in my life, I'm just, I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> hang on a minute, spun. hang on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was me haunting an ethereal line gone out the window. Um, what's it like having your label boss in the band with you? You, you won't say anything at the moment, just... Um... <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I mean, I'm a huge fan, and uh, it's kind of a dream come true. Well, so, it's mutual as well, isn't it? Because obviously you collaborate, the boots on the other foot, when you collaborate with Simon's band, Lost Horizons. Yeah. I've, we've done six songs together, and um, I hope to do more on the next Lost Horizons project or any other project. It's been really nice to write with him, actually. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, he's never asked me, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so you've got one more. I'll stop messing about now, and uh, it's just been great. I've, I've enjoyed the conversation an awful lot, and the music's been wonderful, too. So you've got one more song to do for us, Marissa and Nadler. What are you going to do? This song is called The Path of the Clouds. It's um, loosely based on the story of D.B. Cooper, 